Are you following the protests? Um, only because my wife watched, she watched the women's rally. Uh -huh. She did watch that, which was... Which was very inspiring. I was, I for thought... like 10 minutes, and then it was just like 100,000 people in the rain agreeing with each other. <laughs> it was just like three hours. Are you ready to blah? Yes! I said, are you ready? Yes! For the love of God! We're all on the same page here. Can we go inside? Yeah. And then Madonna crushed it. Madonna comes in wearing a beret, so you know she's in a rebel mood, right? <laughs> so she comes in, right? Just the, the absolute king and queen of just steering it back to your own music catalog. Drops a couple of F-bombs, threatens to blow up the White House, because she knew Fox News would be like, is Madonna a terrorist threat? Yeah. So she gets all that free thing. And then she seamlessly goes into some of her back catalog. And, you know, throws out a few tunes, you know, to get some iTunes money. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was so brilliant. So you like... couldn't say, bothered you that she sang, or you impressed no, that I she loved sang? No, I loved it. As a, at being in this business, it was so perfect. She, just, you know, she did everything but be like, and Trump wants to put a wall up between here and Mexico. I believe there's no borders between countries. Borderline. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to lose. <laughs> this is my first protest ever. You could kind of say it's like I'm a virgin. <laughs> like a virgin. She should have gone through the whole thing. I can't imagine the money she made off of that. It was awesome. <laughs> and then all the celebrities in the background sort of listening, doing this, and then fame whoring off of each other. Like, no, no, I love how your mind works. I love how your mind works. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> At the Fame end of it, though, off each other? Yeah, and at the end of the day, they were still going to men. That's what I didn't like about it. Like, you still had to go down to the guy's house and be like, hey, knock it off. They should have been, like, like, like uh, networking, handing out business cards. Right. You build websites, I want to do this. I right. think the way to get people in power to pay attention is you don't go to them. You kind of, like, have a meeting over here. And then that freaks them out. Like, oh, what's, what's going on over there? Yeah. And then they come over to you. Right. You don't walk up to their house. That's a weak move.